Hi, let's take a look at New Window 11 Direct Offline Processing. Now you can open the Direct Offline Processing window under Audio Direct Offline Processing by pressing F7 on a Mac or Windows machine using the Project Window Toolbar icon or under Audio Processes or Plugins. So if we take a look at this New Window 11 7.1.4 project, I can open the Direct Offline Processing window for a selected event under Audio, Direct Offline Processing, or using F7 on the Mac computer, press and hold the FN key. By clicking on the Project Toolbar Direct Offline Processing icon, available under Settings, Media and Mix Console Windows, or by right-clicking on the selected event. Now, if you get a Toolbox option under New Window, Preferences, Tools, and checked Show Toolbox on right-click. You can then select any processes or plugin to open the Direct Offline Processing window. Now, if a selected event has been used multiple times within the project, you can choose to create a new version or apply to all. Now, you can customize this option under Preferences, Editing, Audio, under On Processing, Share Files. Now, Direct Offline Processing allows you to instantly add plugins effects and processes to a selected audio event, clips, or range without destructing the original audio file. You can customize the Direct Offline Processing window by right-clicking, select one or multiple events on the same track or multiple tracks, and process a range selection on one or multiple tracks. Clips in a pool can also easily be processed with a right click. Now, all direct offline processing are saved with a project. It can be changed at any time. For example, I can have different non-destructive processing for each event within the same track, navigate to a different event within the project, and adjust, add, remove, or bypass any plugin or processes at any time. When using the Wrench tool, the Direct Offline Processing window will show the processes and count of all the selected event within the selected range. When a process or plugin is applied to a selected range, Direct Offline Processing will show the event count and the range icon if a process has been applied to a portion of the selected event. Now, using Direct Offline Processing can keep the Mix Console free from insert effects and parameter changes, or facilitate later mixing by another person on a different system, for example. The Direct Offline Processing window offers an auto-apply and manual addition with a loop playback option with an independent volume control. For example, I can solo and playback an event or range selection by pressing Option plus Spacebar on a Mac or Alt plus Spacebar on a Windows machine. Open Direct Offline Processing for the selected event and check the to Apply and use the Audition and Loop Playback functions. I can then select any process or plugin, including effects presets, which I can then customize by moving effects up and down, bypass, or fine tune. When ready, apply or auto-apply at any time. Now you can extend a process range over the left and right border of the selected event in milliseconds, or add time at the end of the rendered file so that reverbs and delays effects can fully fade out. Now you can drag and drop any plugins from the Inspector Insert section, Right Zone Media VST Effects section, or Mix Console Insert section directly into the Direct Offline Processing window. Copy Paste Plugin Settings or Cut Delete Processes is available on right click, as well as Make All Permanent Processes. You can create, save, and apply different processes of one or multiple effects by simply selecting and drag and drop 
processes into the Bank Favorites section of the Direct Offline Processing window. To apply, select an event and click on your favorite effects. You can easily delete or rename any favorite on right-click, or undo any processes at any time. Exporting audio via Game Audio Connect as an AAF file or clip package, all offline processing are automatically made permanent. Thanks for watching.